Welcome to 1898 Ranch. We are about to start our second week of grazing in one paddock. We are strip grazing. If you didn't see last week's video, I will link it down below. Check that out. And that's basically this half of the paddock that we're in now. We are not going to completely graze this paddock that we're in. We're going like 75% more of the way. And that's because the last 25% ish is not very good grass. So I just came out right now. We came out this morning and checking the cows. Everybody looked good. I just came out right now. All the kids are taking a nap. I'm gonna put up our step in fence posts and our reel. I will link the fence posts and the reels that we use down below. We really like them. Then if I do not get a phone call, we will move the cows. If I get a phone call, we'll have to move the cows later. <laughs> The dog scared her. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. crazy humid today and just since I've been out here the temperature has dropped a lot clouds are coming in hopefully we're gonna get some more rain All right, girls are ready let's move them off why doesn't anybody want to move bye Girls. Boss. Freaking big Bertha right there. Ready to lead the pack. Boss. So what I could do is I could reel and go to the next step in post. But I'd like them. I'd like them to come when I call. So I'm gonna sit here until they call. Who's gonna be more stubborn today? Boss! Now this is our first year grazing our own cattle. We have custom grazed up until this point. If you've seen any of my past videos, I've mentioned that before. So most of these girls are a little bit older. Not all of them, but most of them are a little bit older. So this isn't exactly how we completely want our herd to look. There's some cows that there's some things we don't like about them. Some cows that are perfect, but we're slowly going to make our herd into what we would like it to be. Nothing too, not, nothing bad, just things like the way their backbones or their hips are shaped and things like that. But all of these cows have been amazing so far and we're really happy with our purchases. We also have a new calf born. Oh no! You're stuck, mama! Hold on! Can you get out of there? So this is our new calf. Let's see if he or she will let me. Nope. Okay. What am I gonna do? Okay, well this is not good. So usually my husband is the one to deal with this kind of stuff. But he is down and out for a few days. I'm gonna have to try to get this wire off this cow by myself. I hope I don't get ran over. I have to put the phone down for this. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, that actually went surprisingly well. So. We did end up finding somebody to take one of the twins. Went to a good home and 
will be bottle fed and will be their steer for their meat in the next year or two. All right, girls are happy. It has been six days since we came into this paddock and I just want to kind of give an update on how the grass is looking in the paddock that we were in last week. The grass is coming back really good. Now we did get a little bit of rain, so that definitely helped. So this side is the side that we're about to move to. This is the side that they've been at for about 16 hours. So we've got a good amount of poop in one area. You can still see a bunch of grass up, which is what we want. We could maybe go a little bit longer because you can see some has not been eaten but then obviously some has we already have bugs going on the poop which is good that's what we want all right so we walked through the grass we checked everybody out now we're gonna move them Another thing I should add is that their watering point is actually way down there, right where we first started. So we are moving them, but they will be going back through what we have done. Ideally in dream world, we would probably not be doing that, but it's okay, it's fine. No, you're a baby boy. Baby boy? Boy. I lied. I think we're only gonna get one more graze out of this paddock and then possibly move them over there. We'll talk about it. We'll see what we do. The cows have been out here about nine hours. We were just sitting at home and decided to come check on them. And so now we're just gonna look at the grass, see how everything's doing. Everybody looks great, obviously, but just checking the grass, seeing how it's doing after a morning move. It is just about 10 o'clock in the morning on Monday. So today is the last day that we will be in this paddock. I wish that I would have thought about it yesterday. However, I didn't. But when we came out last night, I did get a little bit of a video, I will show it here. When we came out last night, I was walking back and I stepped on a pheasant hen and it was the area that we had grazed yesterday and there was some baby pheasants in it. So that was pretty cool. Yesterday I was saying that like 15 to 18 hours seems to be the sweet spot, but we are just about exactly 24 hours since we moved them yesterday. And this grass is looking pretty good. Did you have a baby? So that leaves us with one cow left to calve. However, we do have a cow that we thought was open that is starting to bag up. So I'm gonna say that leaves us with two. However, the second one is way past when she was in a bull with a bull. So we're confused. 
we didn't have her when she was bred. So she could have been somehow exposed to another one. We don't know for sure. But calving season is almost done. So I got the solar fence up. Rusty has got the next reel and step in posts up to make the next paddock. And we are gonna move the cows now. There we go, that was our last move of this paddock. I just ran and checked. We got another bull calf. Which I'm a little bit bummed about, I'm not gonna lie. No, no. You are gonna get murdered. just got back from picking up the last of the hay that we have bought so far. We still will need about 75 more bales if we have six months of hay feeding this winter. And if we do not end up having to give them hay this grazing season yet, because we are in such a drought, grass is not growing back. We are in the possibility of having to feed hay this summer. Hopefully not, hopefully we get some rain and let the grasses grow, but that is a possibility for us. But for as of right now, there is all of the hay, minus 75 bales that we will need. Check out next week and see how we move to the next pasture, which we are not exactly sure 100% where we want to go yet. It's between two different places. We, we don't have any problems, but it's us, so we probably will. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can see all of our weekly videos.